Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Splatoon 3 Side Order. Today, we are back to climbing more of the tower to figure out if we can get to the end and to maybe defeat order. There's a lot of little cute creatures around here. Hello, can I interact with any of you? I guess not, but we can walk over here because we can talk to Marina. Hey, eight, do you have a sec? Yeah, sure. I've been running some scans. Somehow, Order jacked up the threat level and the spire as high as it'll go. Why it's gotta, why, why is it gotta go and do that? And what does it mean for us? Well, for one thing, the spire's suddenly taller, but that's not the worst part. Run out of lives even once and you'll get kicked out of the spire. And that'll probably happen since enemies hurt more. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing some challenges here. Huh. That said, I built the members to begin with. I don't have to take this sitting down. Now that I'm outside the spire, I can hack the system, override the changes, and lower the difficulty. Whoa, you can do all that? Glad to ha have you back on our side. Thing is, I'll need pearls to get any hacking done. <laughs> Those are co cool, I like that. Uh, but you should have some pearls already, I think. Do we? Oh, there you go. Those pearls were generated when you came out of the spire. Every time you leave, your color chips in Mumbux will automatically be converted into pearls. So like, we're probably gonna bite it in the spire, but if we kick some butt first, we get more pearls? And giving pearls to Marina for hacks to make it easier will help us next time. Even losing helps us win. I like this plan. Very cool. So we might not succeed every run, but every run will eventually help us succeed. Here are the settings I figured out how to hack so far. Want me to fix anything in your favor? Want me to do some hacking? So we have to some things that will change the player like max lives, damage reduction, max armor, broken armor jump. We have things that'll improve the pearl drone as well. Drone action slots, drone gauge turf charge, drone ink mine, very cool. So I guess these are all dependent on how many pearls I have. So it can increase my max lives. Right now we have three. If I do this, increases how many lives you get per run at the spire. I guess I'll try this one. You know, we can afford it. Why not? There we go. Want to spend some pearls on that? Get hacking. Whoa, not bad. Want me to do some hacking? We'll see. Is there anything I can afford with just 20 pearls? Oh yeah, right down here we have the drone action slots. Increases the number of action slots to set color chips for the pearl drone. Note, hacking is required to set any color chips for the drone other than drone killer whale and drone splat bomb. Okay, I don't really know exactly what that means, but I might as well upgrade it if I can afford it. There we go. Okay, so I can't afford anything else. We'll back out of here. Even you'd have a hard time getting to the top of the spire, eight. But my hack should smooth the way. That's the best I can do from here. It'll be up to you to put a stop to order. One more thing. Here, eight. I have a pallet for you. Whoa, you got Marina's pallet. Try switching weapons with change pallet. One of those things color chips go into? Didn't know you had your own. Setting this pallet to your drone, I mean, pearl, will let you use a new weapon. I did some research, and this doesn't seem to be the only other pallet in the members. Interesting. My early scans of those lockers over there show signs of other pallets inside. When you saved me, I found myself with some keys for those lockers. You should have them, mean. You got locker keys. Swing by the lockers in the order sector. Oh, but you can not change pallets while climbing the spire. If you wanna switch, make sure to press plus before getting in the elevator. Gotcha. So I guess we can go to some of these lockers and open them up right open them up right away. So we used one right, right there to open up number one, and we got Marina's dev diary. You can read it in the X menu. Hey, what's this? Yo, Marina, it's your diary. Shouldn't you keep this in your lock and key? Wait, I guess he kind of did. Oh, well, maybe it's for the best. It's a little embarrassing, but if you two want to read it, feel free. You sure, Rena? I'm gonna leave this with you, Eight. If you wanna read it, you can do that from the menu on X. Okay, let's take a quick look right over here. Arena's dev diary. The final fest is over, which is what happened in Splatoon 2. It was like the last official Splat Fest. And we lost. I feel so bad for Team Order. They all tried so hard. 
But at the end of the Splatfest, Pearl said we're going gonna take over the world. A whole world tour, can you believe it? I can't wait. I haven't felt like this since I was on the sidelines for that battle, right before I came to Ingopolis Square. If Off The Hook's going on a world tour, my schedule is about to be super packed. We've got venues to schedule, roadies to hire, new songs to write, ah! I don't know what to, what I'd do without Pearl. Pearl Hazuki Appreciation Corner, ah. When I felt lost and directionless after deserting from the Octarian army, it was Pearl who showed me hope. The two of us formed Off The Hook, and ever since, I felt like I'm just waiting to wake up from a dream. Sorry, something's in my eye. Okay, I need to cry. I need, I needed a good cry there. All better now. Now I can't forget about the biggest item on my to-do list. It's not world tour business, but it's fair every bit as important. Project members, name not final. That's what I'm currently calling my project to help Agent 8 and all the other Kamabo Co. preyed on. Gotta make it one of my top priorities. What is Kamabo Co.? Huh. And we got a sticker. You can pick it up at the lobby terminal. Cool. So I guess we could put that on our, uh, what's it called? Um, I forgot, the locker. So it seems that those other things open up just so that we can get into some action today. I will open those up after we try Aspire. So yeah, let's go to it. We have our current um, mempad set as the duallys, but we can switch them to marinas where we have this splat umbrella as well as a sprinkler and a rain cloud. That sounds cool. See a Marina's palette, which like I said before, gets a splat umbrella. also has the most common tone of drone. Um, and the second most common tone is power. So let's get into it. I'm excited to hop back into the spire and see what else we can get done. Whoa, even the foyer looks different now. There's a bunch more stuff in here. May as well practice on it before going up the spire. Huh. Oh, and did Marina say something about pallets? Like, you can't change them all in the spire? We well, better be cool with that before we get, before we board, before boarding the elevator, huh? Check your pallet with plus. All right, so we're in the foyer again, and we currently have this black umbrella foyer that Marina gave us, so pretty cool. I'll get up here and I'll, you know, try some stuff if I want to, but, you know, don't have to be too much. We sort of know the, how everything works now, so I think we're good to start climbing the spire. What is this? Uh, ice cube? Relive memories? Oh, that's cool. So if I wanna replay some of the other more scripted events, I guess I could do that there. Enter the elevator. Listen, the going might be tough ahead, but if we don't give up, I know we can make it. You know it. Let's get this party started. Don't worry about me. I'm in this to the end. Hey. The pallet's all empty. Yeah, because all the color chips you had gotten converted into pearls. No color chips, no upgrades. You also have fewer lives than you did before, eight. So be careful. If you lose all of your lives, you'll be thrown out of the spire and have to start all over again. Well, it's a good thing I upgraded the lives then, so I think we have two for now, yeah, on the top left. So for this first one, we have the choice between three easy missions. They're all question marks, we've never seen them before, so I'm down to try any of them. For this one, we get ink damage, this one we get ink bottle drop, and this one we get shot spread reduction. I think out of all these, this sounds like the nicest one. Reduces the shot spread on your main weapon, let's give it a go. Whoa. So now it's gonna be more important than ever to make sure that we have this risk and reward system, even if we're just changing the order of what we go on against. Whoa. Whoa, this spire is huge. Okay. Just because we don't know how far we'll make it. So the farther we can get and the more rewards we can get along the way will be really important to make sure we maximize each run. Let's clear this floor quick so we can go hang out with Marina and Oxymore. <laughs> I agree. All right, so, whoa. With this one, I guess I have to get them all in the hole over there. I'll do my best to get that done. So while they're chasing that one, does that count? Is that not where I'm supposed to get it? Okay, one left. So I can either get it over here or over there. Well, since I did it on that side before, might as well, it's like golfing, it's fun. Okay, we throw the sprinkler down and try to beat some of these guys up a little bit. Okay, I'm low on ink, gotta be careful. They're like pushing around for me. Honestly, don't mind it too much. Oh wait, did they push it off the edge? I think they did. Rain? Oh no, it's over there. Hey, hey, watch what you're doing with that thing. Leave it alone, leave it alone, don't you dare. Okay, come on. 
I'm just gonna push it over here really quickly. I'm not really doing the best with time, but it's okay. <laughs> there we go. Push it up there if you don't mind, or not. There it goes. And it gets dragged in. Boom. Two for two, right? There it is. One F clear. Not bad. So some of these mission types, I'm sure I'm going to have to get used to a little bit, but that was pretty cool. We get the sh shot spread reduction there. And we also get 35 of the points that I'm forgetting the name of. For our next one, we have either an easy or two normals. So for this one, it is the drone splat bomb, the drone killer whale, or sound wave damage. Hmm. I think out of these three, I wouldn't mind jumping up the difficulty a little bit. But with this one, we get the drone killer whale. Allows pearl drone the pearl drone to use killer whale. Having two or more of this color chip reduces the required points accordingly. That sounds amazing. So let's go there. So yeah, today we're just focused on cl climbing up the spire as high as we can, fully not expecting to get to the end of it, just because of how these kind of concepts seem to work. It seems like, you know, we're not supposed to be able to be strong enough to get that far, but each time we try, we'll get a little bit farther. Okay, so let's try this out a little bit. I'm curious to see, yeah, it looks like we got some refills in those boxes and I need to push over the, the spire thing a little turbine, whatever it is. I'm not sure how big of a fan I am of this weapon. I'll get as far as I can with it, but I don't think this is one I'm going to use super often if I don't have to. Okay, I'll toss that over there or something. Maybe that would help. Maybe I should have done the opposite. I should have thrown the, whoa, the sprinkler over here and then fought them myself. Oh my, they don't chop me. I don't appreciate that. Okay, ow, not good. So that's my first life loss. As you can see, we're on our last life. Uh-oh. That is actually really tough. We have to start the whole mission again, don't we? Darn. Okay, hey, you know you're on your last life, right? Be extra careful. I'll try my best, Marina. <laughs> All right, Um. so for this one, I will do that and see if it pushes it a little bit. Uh, not much. Uh, ink management with a weapon like this. Not a big fan of it sometimes. There we go. So let's just play this carefully. Cause I can, yeah, hold the umbrella up and do something like that, it's pretty good. The music is really cool in this so far, watch it! Oh no, oh no, back it up guys, back it up. Ooh, watch out, don't get chopped, don't get chopped! Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, just managing all this so far, proving to be a pretty tough challenge. Okay, getting up here, trying to beat you up, come on. And if I throw this like maybe there, oh darn, I think I threw it too far. Here, let's just focus on pushing this out then. We got this checkpoint. I just gotta keep pushing, keep pushing. It's almost through and then it should have, yeah, there we go. We're at the final push. You just gotta get it to the goal. I'm trying for sure. What's gonna be inside of this block though, I wonder? Here, I'm gonna do that. Get over here and check this thing out. Special gauge is up, which means it's time for the rain cloud. There we go. And then while all of that is happening, I can keep pushing this thing. There we go, picking up some speed with the uh, sprinkler too. That's pretty good, the killer whale's getting out there. Keep it going, but we're about to reach this last little stretch with the checkpoint. Ooh, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Come on, I'm tossing that over there. I don't know how much that'll help. We can just keep pushing it. So it'll back up if I'm not constantly trying to push it past a checkpoint, but that's really difficult to do. We're almost there, come on! There we go. 2F proving to be the most difficult level so far, but we cleared it. I definitely am far weaker with this weapon than I am the dualies. But hey, we get a bunch of points, 125 out of that one, getting us a total of 160, and we get the drone killer whale. So next up, we can either choose an easy, normal, or hard. A little bit nervous about that one. For the easy, we get special charge up. Normal, we get main damage distance. And then hard, we get the lucky bomb drop. I think we'll probably try main damage distant. Increases damage dealt with your main weapons, shots to far off targets. Something we've gone before, but for a weapon like this, I feel like would be really helpful. And you know, it's not probably as exceedingly difficult as this will be. So let's give this a try. All right. I'm excited to see how this one will go down. And it looks like if we get to certain altitudes through the spire, we might get bonus rewards. For that first one, it looked like some pearls. So protect the zone. 
We know all about this one. I just need to hop off here and get the zone secured. So where are they coming in at? It looks like just over here. Yep, okay. Let's try to earn up that chain then and don't get too damaged. Okay. Once again, I might just wanna be patient here. Okay, that's pretty good. Hey, wait a minute, what are you doing over there? Be careful, be careful. There we go, thank you, Pearl. I lost control, I don't know about that one, there we go. Oh wait, that's one of the, the discs. I definitely want that. So things can get, ah, very overwhelming, very fast, don't push me off. Oh no, I lost control, zone loss. And we were almost there too, so if I can just get over here really fast and see what's inside of that box. Ooh, okay, you know what? Yeah, go ahead and take that. I would like to hop up here, and then, oh my, uh, come on, got it. And then I just need to take this back, gain control, and hold it for a couple more ticks. We got it, for sure. Come on, come on, three, two, one, we did it. That was a tricky one. There's a point where I thought it was game over, but we make our way through the high tower floor. And we get some extra points, so that's pretty good. All right, next up we have three normals. This one gives a rush in coverage, allows you to ink more turf with your main weapon while moving, such as with a roller or brush. So that really wouldn't apply here. Is it only with those two? I, I guess, I don't know, hard to say. We got the turf lucky chain, inking the ground adds to the lucky chain. And then, oh, that actually sounds really good. We also have armor drop, increases the chances of enemies dropping armor. Armor will absorb damage and break so you don't lose a life. So this just doubles it from 0.5% to 1% of the time. I think out of the three of these, Turf Lucky Chain sounds the best. So we're gonna go with that one and continue up the spire. So already this game's not playing around. It's giving us some difficult challenges, which is cool, I'm enjoying it. So let's destroy the portals. This one seems fairly straightforward then. I'm going to immediately just try to hit it with the sprinkler, refill our ink a bit, and just start attacking that thing. I know they're gonna return the favor a little bit here, but I'm, oh, I'm getting it pretty good. A few more shots should do the trick. Come on, there it is, one left. It's on the other side. Ooh, what do I get here? I get some armor, much needed. I don't know if I can double armor, but I certainly just tried. Get that over there, and then, oh my. So I think I can, oh darn. I can only really get those guys when they're out of their shield. I don't wanna get splatted. Okay, right about here. I want the rain cloud to help me out, and then we really just wanna go for this thing. And the rain cloud definitely making a difference, but they're trying to get me. Ah, <laughs> that was scary. That was very scary. Phew, 48 seconds though, pretty good in and out of that one without too much of an issue. 395 points in total, and we have an easier choice here for you. Um, we can either do this one, which is main damage distant again. Drone battery drop increases the chances of enemies dropping drone batteries. A drone battery fills the drone gauge by 100 points. And when it comes to Pearl, she still has to kill her whale. Okay, and then we get the splash radius. Increases the radius of damage and turf inked by explosions. I don't know if we have anything that's really making explosions right now. We have the sprinkler as our our like throwable thing. So I think out of all these, I mean, obviously this is nice, but I think from like a general gameplay standpoint, having more main damage with the distance sounds very useful. And it's an easy stage, so hopefully we get through it easily. We'll have to wait and see. And with this one, I guess we'll also get some pearls if we make our way through. Forward momentum. All right, so sink the uh, the eight ball here, the infinity ball. Whoa, cool. All right, I'll let it drop me if it lets me. There we go. Oh, I guess I can't fall too far. Whoa, whoa. Okay, uh, should I just join it over there? I guess so. Here, hold on. I'm gonna get it, let it get a little bit closer to one of these and just have it go flying. The monster's gonna make their way over to me too. Come on, come on. Ooh, that was, okay, this can get really reactive. Where did it go? Oh no. Oh, there it is, there it is. Okay, so put this down and let it do its thing. Wait, oh no, oh no. Okay, hold on. Don't explode any more of those, actually. Stop, <laughs> come on. Wait, wait, get rid of you. 
and then get over here and just push it in. Oh, too far, too far. Okay, we're fine. Did we get it? Did we get it? We got it. That was cool. I like our Splatoon mini golf experience we got going on. So 5F forward momentum floor cleared. We get 30 points for it, which is pretty nice. And we also got 25 bonus pearls. Nice. We made it past 5F. And we got pearls for clearing it. Aspire is set up to give you some good bonuses if you can clear 5F. For example, if you get kicked out after that, you'll start with 500 mem bucks on your next run. And there'll be a guaranteed vending machine corner on 5F. You can spend it where you can spend it. A vending machine corner sounds like a great place to take a breather. Not that I breathe. It's worth your while to get past 5F on every run you can. But don't stop there. Let's make this the run where we reach order and blast it to bits. You feel me, eight? I mean, I'll certainly try. Okay, so floor selection, we're back to it. Um, This time we have three normals, but how do I get to this vending machine? Do I do that now or I'm not quite sure. I did notice for our collection, we have a color chip collection here. So, whoa, you got new color chips. Because of that, we get pearls. Give them to Marina for some hacks. Awesome. So as you can see here, we have all these different ones. So it'll be in my interest to make sure that we get everything over time. And same thing probably with the gelatin field guide. Whoa, we got a title, Memversal and beta, beta Tester. So I guess with more enemies that we run into, the more kind of info we'll get about it. And I guess, oh wow, if we defeat more of them, we'll get even more information. If we defeat 502 more of the swarming languendos, I guess I get a little bit more like information drops about it. So that's very cool. Happy to see that, but for right now, we're backing up and we have three normal challenges. This first one gives us drone killer whale, um, which we've seen before. Uh, this one gives me main damage close again, or no launch umbrella. Prevents the umbrella shield from launching, allowing you to keep shooting it with, with it open. Wow, I like that one. So let's try this one, the no launch umbrella. It's sort of related to, of course, the fact that we have a umbrella weapon right now. So let's go there, get this normal challenge done. So some of them might be very specific to the weapon and setup that we currently have. 6F, rising ground floor. Okay, escort the turbine tower. Let's get up here then. And whenever I can, let's just hop off and try to find that tower. It's right over here. Whoa, oh, I did not mean to fall that far. So see, this doesn't really hit it too much. So I don't know if it's worth doing now, especially when I can just do something like this and have it move over and uh-oh, here they come. All right, so, ow, wait, 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 wait. Give me something, please. Ugh, get out of here. Oh no, oh no, not good. So do I have that upgrade already? I should probably check, huh? It's a little bit difficult to get over there at the moment, and I don't like that. So if I could just maybe reposition all the way up here and start to hit that thing. I see you jumping over to me. I don't appreciate it. Okay, here we go, toss that over, and then, yeah, we can still attack at full power with that, which is great. Oh my, oh my, come on, come on. Uh, I need these two to back off, if possible. There we go, gonna toss down one of those, and then once I get you, I can spring up and try to get this thing. There we go. Now we're getting there, just a little bit more, just a little bit more, and it's past that checkpoint. Beautiful, don't stop till it's done, eight. I'm certainly trying my best, but to do that, I need to run! <laughs> okay, we're good, we're good. I see a bunch of stuff over here, so I'm gonna try to go like that, knock you out, and keep at it. We get one, then we get two. So I wanna run back over here and get this to keep hustling. The killer whale also going to help move it along. And then we will get over this way. Okay, well that's a little silly, um, cause now I can't quite reach it. Are there more monsters coming in? I think so. so if I could just fill up a little bit more ink, that would be a huge difference maker because we're almost at the rain cloud. Put it down like right there. Go, go, go. Because those monsters are trying to catch up to me too. You're at the last checkpoint. So scary. Okay, I think it's got it. If we just want to keep damaging them down for fun too. Maybe some extra points, extra progress. I gotta be careful with that though, as you can see. Oh no, this is sort of messy. There we go. Bounce up, bounce up. And then where'd it go? <laughs> we got it, we got it, we got it. Ready and... One more, one more. Come on, there it is. That was pretty crazy. So the rising ground 
a little bit tricky to move through. But with this one, of course, we get that no launch umbrella. That's gonna be really useful. And we can just keep going. So for this next floor, we have an easy, normal, and hard. For this one, we have the drone gauge charge, increases drone gauge fill rate. We have a drone killer whale, which we know about, allows Pearl to drone to use killer whale, which we already have one. So this one, ink damage, increases the damage dealt by weapons and the Pearl drone. I'm curious about this one. If I take a look at my collection, do I have it? Okay, we get extra pearls. Um, Poison ink, main damage, we don't. So I can sort of, you know, get two things done. A little bit riskier, because I obviously haven't really <laughs> done too many hard ones, and I don't know if it's gonna kick my butt, but I'm willing to try. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so floor 7F, launching pyramid floor. Destroy the portals. So once again, you can see I can launch a bunch of uh, ink while still being protected by my umbrella. So I see one of the portals right there. And I probably just wanna go for one straight away because I'd imagine that the sooner I do it, the sooner we don't have to worry about, oh my, I'm out of ink, out of ink, okay. Managing ink for a brawl weapon has always been something I've sort of struggled with and I think you see why and I'm already done. No! <laughs> I don't know. I'm glad I got as far as I did, but Brella weapons have never really been top tier for me. <laughs> Just my own skill with them. But that wasn't too bad. We made it decently far with Marina's palette. I risked it a little bit. I didn't quite get the reward I wanted, but that's okay because that's sort of the point. We make it a little bit farther regardless and all this will help us be stronger for the next run. So for this, we get 42 pearls and that's gonna add to our total pretty nicely there. All right. So we're back at the order sector and this is where we can take a little break. Those fish are a pain to deal with and the worst part is they're everywhere. Yeah, for sure. So first things first, I have a couple of keys. Let's open a few more lockers. We have locker number two right over here, which has a banner. You can pick it up the lobby terminal. Hey, a banner. They put all kinds of stuff in these. We got we got keys to open any more, right? I don't know. I think we do, we have one more. So we'll open up number three, which has Agent Four's palette. Try switching with the change palette. I definitely would like to. What in the world? This is Agent Four's palette. Oh yeah, Agent Four. Uh, who is that again? One of the new Squid Beaks Splatoon members that Captain Cuttlefish introduced us to. Oh yeah, the one who was supposed to be such a big shot. Uh, what's Agent Four's palette doing here? Well, palettes are actually a representation of part of someone's soul. I guess Order somehow pulled a part of Agent 4's soul into the members, turning it into a palette. What, for real? Man, we better keep keep up, man, we better keep this with us. Wouldn't want anything happening to it. I'm still getting signals from other palettes in the lockers. Let's keep opening them as we find keys. All right, well, that was my last key, but I wouldn't mind switching to that palette now because I definitely appreciate a splatter shot. But let's see the info on this one. Agent 4 palette has range. Range tone color chips can ink more turf, shoot further, pierce enemies, and more. Keep your foes where you like them at arm's length. And the second most common tone is mobility. Mobility tone color chips are all about moving. Move faster, recover gauge on the go, and so on. Stay nimble and never get cornered. Sounds like a plan. Over here though, Marina wants to chat a little bit more. Oh, hey, guess what? I just finished a feature that lets you start a run from a floor where it ended. You can choose a run to start from with Y. It'll be a real time saver. Okay, want me to do some hacking? So I figure, yeah, we'll get some more upgrades. Over here we have some that like really want our attention. I guess they might be new ones, like armor recovery increases the speed at which broken armor repairs itself. Swimming in ink restores it even faster. It's pretty cheap too, it only 10 pearls. I'll go ahead and scoop that one. Got it. Okay, so what else can we do? We could get another upgrade. I don't think I quite want that. But over here we have double chip rate. Uh, increases the chance of getting double chips during floor selection. That sounds like it could be nice. Let's go ahead and jump that. From 5% to 7% is not a huge jump, but those little things add up. All right, back over here. I don't see anything like new popping. Okay, there's a couple of things, but I think we'll just sort of work our way down for a bit until we can really decisively say what is the best thing. Damage reduction reduces damage taken. is straightforward, but definitely useful. 
Next up, we have uh, max armor right over here. Increases the maximum pieces of additional armor you can have at once. So from one to two. Oh, we don't quite have enough. Um, eight. You don't have the pearls for that. Okay, is there anything I do have the pearls for? Broken armor jump. Automatically launch into the air when all armor is broken. Extra investment increases launch height. Very cool. So I'll go ahead and scoop that one. And that's gonna be our last one. Pretty sure. Is there anything that costs 10? Not looking like it. Okay, so, oh, does retrying also cost me pearls? So I could have gone back to 7F, but it would have cost me 120 pearls. Don't think that's worth the investment quite yet. We can just earn up more pearls and get more upgrades so that getting back up the 7F isn't as difficult. So let's get back to the spire and try climbing it again. So let's see what challenge await us as we head back into the elevator with Oct. Act? One of the two. Oh, nice. Since we cleared 5F in our last run, this time we get 500 mad bucks off the bat. That works out well. I remember you saying there's a guaranteed vending machine corner on 5F to spend it. So once we get to 5F, we can take five. That ought to give us a good head start. Let's make the most of it, eight. All right, well, definitely wanna to get to 5F at the least then. And with this first one, we have three easy challenges. Each one is question marks. I'm pretty sure the question mark will be cleared once we play the four for the first time. But we have main damage distance, splash radius, increase the radius of, and da of damage and turf inked by explosion, or main piercing. Your main weapon shots pierce enemies with damage decreasing per enemy. More chips means more enemies pierce. This sounds really good because that also means that I will um, be able to hit enemies a lot easier when it's a group, but we also get 45 extra of the mem bucks. So I think this is overall a really good one to tackle. Let's give it a try. Okay, so just starting humble beginnings back at 1F, but eventually we'll get up there and we'll have the vending machine this time. So I'm very curious about that. Whoa. So. Sink the eight balls. Don't mind if I do. So there's two of them here. You've got this one eight. After all, pearls with you. That does make things a little bit more uh, doable, for sure. What do you think you're doing? Leave that alone, please. Gotcha. So I'm knocking you out and the ball fell all the way down here. Which you know, ain't so bad because we can just push it up this way and it should get zapped into the, the socket over there. But you can see over this way, there's another one waiting for us. One left, it's over here. Score, now let's get that last one. Don't push it off, but I'm just trying to get it over there. There you go, quickly before these monsters catch up to me. There we go, and then, wait, boom. Get some extra points really quickly if I can. Okay, I don't know if that actually knocked any of them out. <laughs> it didn't, but hey, I tried. There's our first floor done in 42 seconds. Not bad. So as you can see, we get our main piercing color chip. Pretty nice. And we're on to the next round. So with this one, three more easy tasks to choose from. This one gives drone killer whale, which I don't have yet, so it's definitely worth considering. Um, we have the drone splat bomb, which I've yet to get. Um, allows the pearl drone to use splat bombs. Having two or more of this color chip reduces the required points accordingly, and turf lucky chain. Inking the ground adds to the lucky chain. We've gotten that one before. I don't think we've ever gotten this one, so for the sake of adding to our collection, I think it's worth giving it a try. So drone splat bomb, here I come. So yeah, so far, I'm really impressed with the side order DLC. This has been a ton of fun so far. I thought it would be more like, you know, the Octo expansion, um, where it was just like another story, which I mean it is, but it, it definitely has like some unique features to it. So, oh, you know what I do here? I explode that, that sends you flying and you're done. Nice. Can I use this maybe chain explode them? It didn't quite work. Um, oh, you know what I do? This thing, I didn't even see this. Hold on, whoa, come on, come on, here I come, you better be ready. Watch out, oh, I didn't even fall off. I got one, I got two. Come on, come on. With the Trizuka, oh, can I not use that while I'm on the thing? Boom, got gotcha, you pretty good. Got gotcha. you. One more over there. <laughs> Did we get you? Oh wait, there's one more. Come on, last one eight, good luck. Almost got you right there. No, no, no. Here, I'm just gonna chase after you like this, please. There you go. This might be a bit better. And I will jump over here. I'm gonna get you sooner or later. 
Maybe I should turn around. This is actually, I don't know if I'm getting any closer. Um, oh no, I got you, awesome. <laughs> that was a pretty neat one. I don't think I did it as well as I could have, but we still got through. Because of that, we get the drone splat bomb. Very cool. Ooh, sticky ink. Decreases the movement speed of enemies in your ink. But we also have ink bottle drop and mobile special charge. Fills the special gauge by moving. That does sound really good. If we could get that sooner rather than later, leave the easy ones for later maybe, you know what I mean? You know what, yeah, sure. I mean, I have two lives, so I have some room for mistakes here. So maybe now is the time to take that opportunity, try to get the mobile special charge. That does sound really useful, especially for the special that we currently have. <laughs> All right, let's give it a try. Because just being able to whip out this trizooka and clear out a big horde of enemies attacking us does sound like a good idea. So, protect the zone. It looks like it's gonna be right over there, I guess. In the meantime, I should also see what's inside of there. It is going to be something that'll help me with the special. They're running over to me straight away. Not even giving me the chance to get the zone. But you know what, that's fine. We'll make it work. The zone is lost, but I just take it straight back here in a moment, maybe. Uh, there it goes. <laughs> I lost control, I took control. Okay, like over here, I got these guys. They're getting sent flying. I'm able to get a nice triple shot out there and beat you up a little bit too. Not bad. Okay, what do you think you're doing? Get out of here. So yeah, even if I don't need to, it seems like it's in my best interest to destroy as many enemies as possible. That way we unlock all the logs for everything in the collection and we get more pearls out of it, it seems too. So let's back it up a little bit. Boom, hit you. And then uh, maybe over there, there we go. Just 10 takes left, let's make the most out of it. Tossing that over there. We might lose control. No, we don't. Three F cleared, not bad. So wide open four, all finished up. But we have over 700 of the mem bucks. Now we definitely wanna use that the vending machine. Rigorous difficulty? Whoa. This one gives us ink saver main. Decreases the amount of ink consumed by your main weapon. This sounds like so cool, but I'm also a little bit terrified. I wanna make sure we make it to the vending machine. So I might not do that one right now, especially when we could increase the main piercing or get the drone killer whale. Hmm. And we actually have the names of these, so that means we've experienced both of them before. Let's try High Tower 4. I think getting more piercing could end up being really, really good. I do appreciate also, we get the upgrade straight away. We don't have to beat it to get that upgrade. We just immediately get to feel the benefits of that. So protect the zone, ride the cage over. Yeah, I do remember this one. It wasn't so bad before. I think I can handle it again. So. Where are the enemies gonna pop up? Right over here. So as soon as I can, maybe I can just toss one of those over. I don't know if that really got too many of them. It's okay, because we're already getting this tick down pretty quick. Here, I'll get down this way. And this is also a perfect angle where you can really feel the effects of that, that shot that just collaterally goes through all the enemies. Okay, big guy coming through. I'm just gonna try to knock out who we can, even have to push him off the side of the map. Just 10 takes left, I think we got it. As we're going down this corridor, we hit them with a the splat bomb, send them backwards again, and boom, we get the win. That was pretty good. So our new best time for that mission, but on top of that, we're getting more familiar. It really gives us a benefit. So 125 was our reward. Ooh, check it out, eight. Ooh, what do we got? The vending machine corner. Vending machine corner. Wanna get a soda and kick back for a bit? Oh, these don't sell drinks, but for a few mem bucks, you can restock lives or buy color chips. Some even lets you swap your sub weapon or special weapon for a new one. Also, a vending machine corner counts as a floor, so if you hit one up, that's one less risk you take on your way up the spire. Solid arguments all around. So what do you say, eight? Wanna see what it's got? Definitely for this first time. But as you can see, if you weren't feeling it, you could just go for one of these. But I wanna try it, the vending machine corner. These machines accept the mem bucks for things like lives, color chips, sub weapons, and even special weapons. Okay, let's go there. Definitely wanna see what they have in stock. And of course, we're gonna get some mem, not mem bucks, uh, pearls, just for getting here. Oh, so that's the vending machine. Let's see what we can get out of this thing. Use the vending machine. Okay, 
So we have Turf Lucky Chain, inking the ground adds to the Lucky Chain. Hindrance Damage, increases damage dealt to enemies when they're slowed by your ink or Toxic Mist. And then a uh, Sub Weapon Ink Mine, changes your Sub Weapon to Ink Mine. Uh, I don't think I want that one. I think I'd rather have this one. And what I noticed is that they have multiple in stock. I guess I could have bought more than one if I had the money to, but that being said, they're very expensive, so I don't have the money to. Let's go ahead and do hindrance damage. I think that's all I can afford. Oh, and they get more expensive with each purchase. Done shopping eight, cool. Nothing else to do here, but head back to the elevator, which of course is over this way. So there we go, pretty easy floor for us. And we can keep moving. That was a new type of color chip for us as well, so that's pretty good. Our floor selection this time is easy, normal, normal. The first one has splat ink recovery, refill ink by defeating enemies. Poison ink, increase the damage enemies take when they're in your ink. And main range, increase your main weapons range. This one, to me, sounds the best. Whenever I can just get a main weapon upgrade, I'm all over it. We're doing main range, this normal difficulty one. Let's go to this floor. All right, so, pyramid floor. Let's get into it then, right over here. We're gonna move into the action, hop off. We haven't done this one before. Give me some upgrade for my special, but, oh, I just have to fill this out, gotcha. Zone secured, and they aren't happy about it. They're gonna try to move in over here. When the enemies get closer, I suppose I can just, uh, Hit this big balloon too, right about now. Oh, I can already feel the benefits. The extra range as you go flying. That was cool. Okay, we're already getting really close. To wrapping this one up, 30 ticks left. I'll keep zooming through as uh, some enemies are getting launched over. Okay, let's get that one. Ooh, whole bunch over here actually. Like, what's, uh, watch it. There we go, just 10 ticks left. Boom, try Zuka shots where everyone can get and land them. Come on, that was pretty good. Get that one too, and six have cleared like it's no problem. All right, I'm really getting to the groove of this now. I'm liking it a lot. Okay, so we're also earning mem bucks back. So we'll make the use of those eventually. We got the floor selection, normal, normal, hard. Okay, so for this one, swing, swim speed up, increases the movement speed in swim form. Um, we have disc piece drop, increases the chances of enemies dropping disc pieces. Get three in Pearl's drone step off song will temporarily close portals. Whoa. And then we have the hard one, splash damage, increases damage dealt by explosions. All right. Uh, I mean, out of all of these, I guess splash damage would be best. It's hard mode though. Will we be able to do this in Conquer 7F? We haven't made it much farther than that today. So let's definitely give it a try. So 8F would be waiting for us after this. If we can get that far, it'd be a new record for today at the least. Destroy the portals. And there's only two of them. So if I were just to hop off right now and just start hitting it on my way down, that feels like not a bad idea. I get a little bit worried, but that's where we can use this big spinning top, right? And then just push it over in a direction, not specifically where I wanted it, but it was, you know, not bad. Okay, get over here and knock you out too. And then you just try to work on this. That extra range really kicking in to be useful there. Definitely appreciate it. And while they're all grouped up like this, I definitely wanna hit them with the Trizuka. But a big thing to notice is that when they get hit, they go flying in a way that I feel like not many other Splatoon enemies do. But I guess, you know, done to specifically try to avoid me just being able to one-shot everything, right? Anyways, we're to try to one-shot everything, send you flying, and then over here, just try to hit this thing as much as we can. And I won't let up this time. If you run out of ink, I just pick up an ink cartridge and I keep it going and finish up that challenge. Seven up clear, no problem. Wasn't that supposed to be a hard mode one? Who handled it so well? All right, so splash damage coming in, and it really shows uh, that the better we are with building up our palette, the easier it gets. The more we can handle challenges like this. Huh? Do we get something extra on the next floor? Uh, maybe? Ah, you found a bonus floor. On floors like this, you get either a color chip saturation or a bonus challenge. A color, a color chip saturation sets color chips to all empty slots in your palette. 
only for that floor though. Whoa, we have a lot of room on our pallets, so that could be big. The colored chips you get are randomly picked. All they have in common is their tone. Whereas a bonus challenge gives you an extra objective separate from the main one on the floor. You don't have to do it, but if you do, it'll earn you some bonus membucks. Not seeing a downside here. What do you think, Eight? Wanna give it a go? So which one is the bonus? I'm not quite sure. So for this one, we have ink attack size, increases the size of your main weapon shots, making it easier to hit enemies from 100 to 190%. We also have a drone gauge charge, increases drone gauge fill rate, and drone killer whale. Okay. Uh, I like ink attack size. That sounds fun. But what? where is the bonus stage? I'm a little confused. It's just, I don't know. We'll just go into this. We'll see what happens. Maybe I missed something there. I guess we'll figure it out eventually. High tower floor. Okay, sink the eight ball. Let's go for it. And I mean, this seems pretty simple, especially this first one. Wouldn't I just want to push it off over there? I think so. This one might be a little bit more involved. As we get to our final checkpoint, uh, I'll do that to knock you out. Come on, come on. Oh, they're really trying to push it around. But I'd rather them, you know, bother with that than to bother me, you know? There we go. Pushing it down this way, and I think it'll sort itself if I want to fight a couple more enemies. Might be more worth our while. Yeah, I think that's a better idea because that way we earn a couple of extra points. Maybe it'll help us uh, with our collection. But there we go. Okay, so we got that. That didn't seem to be the bonus stage. Oh wait, maybe it was. I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I'm really confused. <laughs> but um, next up we have the either drone splat bomb, which I already have one. Um, pyramid floor we've done before, but this time it gives a special charge up, increases special gauge flow rate from inking surfaces. And then we got this mystery one, which gives us ink saver main. Um, I don't think we got this. Oh no, it says on the right side, bonus. Okay, decreases amount of ink consumed by your main weapon. This one's bonus, then let's give that a try. Cool. So, heading into this, Danger Magnet Bowl. Destroy the portals. Don't glide is our bonus. Okay, Um, how do I clear without gliding? That means we, we can't hang out. You'll have, to, you'll have to start. Okay, like that. So I haven't glided yet. Oh no, that wasn't so good. Let's just back it up a little bit so I can really try to fight you guys from here and the chain will build up, no problem. That's pretty good. I wanna get you as well. Okay. With that figured out, if I could just get this thing covered before it spawns in more enemies. Come on, go, 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 go. I need more ink, I need more ink. Okay, you know what? Boom, got it. That's our first one done. I see one more shot over here I can maybe make. Didn't quite land it, but we do get some extra armor. And we also can have some fun with these. They're having like a chain reaction. Whoa. Oh man, this one's taking some damage now because of that. So definitely just make the most out of it. Push that over there. Why not? And get that exploded, knock out some more enemies. One left and it's down there. Oh, I hit it a little bit, nice. Boom, I miss. Okay, not good. I got a little bit out of that though. Got the chain building up again. Ooh, so satisfying, but I gotta watch out. Okay, start filling this thing up, especially as more enemies make their way in. Come on, come on, we got it, beautiful. 9F cleared. And we didn't glide, I don't think. So, do we get it? Ink saver main. And we got 230 extra mem bucks. Heads up, there's something on the next floor way past anything we fought so far. Brace yourselves. If this spire kept anything from my original design, then there should be a boss at 10F. So, we're in for a real fight, huh? Stay on your toes, eight, and don't push your luck. 10F. Well, that's where we are in a, whoa, scary. But we get 500 coins as well as a key for this one. So definitely worth pursuing. All right, let's go to this floor. Oh man, this is intense. Elusive bounder. Whoa. Is that, that definitely looks like the elusive bounder. Defeat the boss. I'll try. What's that giant ball thing? Watch yourself, eight. Oh, here we go. So, 
The elusive bounder pinging Merkale? Marcial? I don't know what that means. Uh, what is this? I don't know. Uh, there's a lot going on with this. Here, I'll just attack you from here. It looks like you're just like very well guarded, except for maybe a couple of spots. Come on, I need to get closer if I can. I don't think I can. That's all right, there, that's all right. We'll just move over like that. And the more we roll you over, I mean, it looks like even when I hit the, like, the metal casing, it's still doing damage. What's it up to now? No, it's rolling, it's rolling. <laughs> Be careful. Oh my, all right, ready? Boom. Oh no, not good. Whoa, the shell is open. I gotta go, 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 and just damage this thing as much as possible. Oh no, oh no. Yeah, destroy these guys too if I can. Get them out of here. Toss it over as I'm flying. Come on, come on. Uh-oh, take the shot, I'm trying my best. That does not look fun. It's like a killer whale, but just from a bunch of different angles. I'm tossing out where it's gonna try to go. And it's almost destroyed here. Here we go, checkpoint. Very nice. Whoa, there are even more bumpers now, so the bumpers send it flying! Whoa, okay, jump over that, please. Send these guys out of here, even the close ones. Come on, go, go. Got you too. We're clearing them out, no problem. But there's plenty more where that came from. We gotta be careful. Bad news, enemies are coming for you. Good news, it's shell is open at least. All right, pretty good, pretty good. Whoa, gonna hit you there. You get back, please. And then, yeah, there we go. The strike through shot, very, very useful. This thing is gonna try to attack it to push it over a little bit more, which is definitely not useful. So if I actually hit that more sort of open spot to it, it definitely does more damage. Come on, come on. Catching up to it has been the challenge so far. Almost there, you know what? Hit you with this. Oh, great shot there. Look at it, it's just a little guy, that's all itty bitty. Take us home, mate, I'm trying. Come on, come on, come on. Gonna toss it over there. Try to meet it where it's at, you know? All right, refill the ink as soon as possible. What are these things? Those are new, right? I don't know. Hit it with this. One more shot, one more shot. Nah, it's not happening. Come on, where are you at now? Oh, you're over there. You really want flying from that one? If you can keep the floor clear of enemies that spawn, you might get an opening. That is for sure. Got it, got it. Okay, definitely grab that armor and the extra ink and let's just go crazy on you. This might be enough to defeat you if we're fast about it. Come on, keep it going, but that's a lot of enemies. I definitely wanna clear this out while I have the chance and while you're moving towards me. Ready, boom, boom, one more. Oh, I didn't quite make it for that last shot. Unfortunate, well, let's build up a chain while you have the opportunity. Just like that, okay, dude. I'm so glad I got the armor while I had the chance then. Okay, it shells open a crack. Get in there, I'm trying. There we go, there we go. We got it! All right, intense fight for sure. Spectacular work, Eight and Pearl. Thank you very much. So for that, we get ourselves a key. 10F cleared. Beautiful. The elusive bounder has been defeated. All right, so that extra key coming in, we get 500 mem bucks, and we're climbing up there with the totals. Everyone's still in one piece? Sweet, what even was that? Definitely stronger than any gelatin we've seen. What did you pick up at the end? A locker key? That's interesting. Based on this, I think you'll get a, a key every time you clear certain floors of for the first time with each pallet. So, if we clear 10F again with another pallet, we'll get another key? Exactly, Pearl. That said, I don't think we've rung this pallet dry of keys yet. Yeah, I expect we'll find more as we make we take this one further along. So we have a lot of work ahead of us then. So it looks like we'll be getting a vending machine corner here too if we want, which, I mean, I have enough membucks that we can consider it. We also have the homing shots, it sounds amazing. Causes your main weapon to, ta to track targets. Having two or more improves tracking. And then down here we also have normal challenge, drone gauge charge increases drone gauge fill rate. I think I want this, this sounds awesome. So let's try this one out. It's also a mystery easy challenge where I have to push around that infinity ball. Might as well give it a try. So, making a little bit farther with this one, I opt not to take the vending machine, but that's okay. Sink the eight boss. Okay, ride the cage. Here we go with these things. Yo, eight, see if you can get all in one. I will try. So if I do this maybe, he'll send it flying. Oh, that was cool. Let me do that over 
here too. Just uh, do that and then boom! <laughs> Whoa, and I can shoot through all of you. The homing shots, so nice. And there's still so many. Whoa, I can destroy a bunch of them with the Trizuka. That was great. Let's keep it moving. It looks like it was trying to grab one over here, but unfortunately it fell. Oh, I see it's bouncing. Um, Maybe I can help with that. I don't know, this is sort of awkward. Um, Not good, don't land on me, that's just rude. How am I getting these things over? If I attack them up like that, that might be enough. That might be enough. Don't go over there, don't go over there. Oh, one left. Come on, come on. Almost got them all, I know. What do I do about this? <laughs> come on. I'll try to get it back around. This is definitely a little tricky. Uh, You gotta go. I'm gonna try to launch a couple of you guys and then try to fix the situation. What do I do? Now it's back over there. Not really where I wanted it. Don't you dare. Come on. Oh, oh wait, there's another one right here. Oh, okay. Well, I made it so much more difficult for myself than it had to be. There was just a drop off spot right there, which is why it's definitely worth it to sort of uh, look around our surroundings a bit more and get the win. All right, so 11 I've cleared. Still haven't lost a life, so we've got a lot of momentum going through this one. 45 more mem bucks. This time, since we're doing so well, I wanna tackle more difficult things. Like over here, we have the ink attack size. Of course, it will improve the ink attack again. So I might as well do this one. I wanna really see how far we can push this. All right. Because if we don't make it to the end today, that's all right. That's not really the goal anyways. It's just, you know, get as far as we can, however far it is, and get a little stronger each run. So something Jamboree, protect the zone. Good luck, eight. You too, Pearl. Okay, so protect the zone. I got that zone secured. And then maybe over here, 70 something, we have to survive here. I get some armor. That's some really good stuff. Come on, get you. Get your friend too. And I'll use that. Hey, to bounce back over here and take my zone back. You gotta get out of here. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. They lost control. And I'm here to gain it back too. I wanna get up here and then, ready, boom. Get you, you, and you clearing things out, losing control once more, but if I can just get rid of this guy, and then you over here, I'm not a fan, sorry. Keep the ticks going up, and I get launched! Oh man, oh no, out of ink, out of ink, not good. I lost control again, definitely getting a bit overwhelmed. What is that? Oh, that thing is a tower? I don't like it. <laughs> That's where it reminds me of Salmon Run a little bit. This is so cool though. I'm really enjoying this whole DLC so far. It's been a blast. I see you over here, you're still not fun. 10 more ticks left. Keep everything nice and filled up. And with a few seconds remaining, can we make it happen? Yes, we can. 12F is cleared. So spring and jamboree, not too bad. All right, so 375 is a reward for that one. We get the ink attack up and we have a couple more options here. Let's try doing this one, main damage close. I don't think I've gotten that before, right? Um, it gives us two of them. Increases damage dealt with your main weapon shots to nearby targets. All right. Our palette is really starting to fill up a bit more, which is definitely exciting. On to the next one. 13F springing on even four. So, defeat the fleeing foes. Let's give it a try. Oh, here they are. This one, I feel like at the least, there's not too much of a risk of like losing, it feels like so far. Oh no, I say that, and then those enemies attack me. So maybe this one, with it being a little bit more crowded, might prove to be a bit more of a challenge. Okay, you gotta go. All these guys gotta go. Launch, launch, and then maybe one over there for good measure. There we go. So I got one of the fast guys just on my way down. Come on, get rid of you, if I can. The springboard too. And then if I could bounce, Trizuka launch right there. I missed, no! That was a crucial one to not miss. And I miss. Okay, over here, over here. Can I get you a little bit? I sort of knocked you out one way or another, I think. Okay. Ooh, be careful, one left. And they're right over there. Come on, they're stuck in my ink. That's my chance. We get it done. 13 F cleared, no problem. All right. So much action happening, but with it, as you can see, we stack things up even higher. The rewards just keep pushing and pushing. This time around, we have either mobile special charge, main range, 
uh, or main ink coverage. Haven't gotten this one at least yet for this run, so I think I'll give this one a try. Cool. So many different upgrades to get and things to figure out, but we are slowly getting there. We can get the 15, we get more of the pearls. So that's definitely another goal for me. Escort the turbine tower, which is right there. So this is one we've sort of struggled with before. I will get down this way. Might as well build that up sooner rather than later and just get things moving. Uh-oh, uh-oh, you know what? Yeah, but let's do this, especially as they're all sort of stuck in that corridor. Seems like a good idea, but they just bounce towards me in a way that isn't the most useful at times. Oh man, oh man, especially when they do that. Not good. But we got it. We can just keep going. Come on, let's uh, load back up. And I gotta get up there now, huh? Well, I can do that no problem. Whoa, by doing this, knocking you guys back a little bit and keep working through that checkpoint. The extra range we've earned up for this weapon is definitely being used up here in a nice way. And keep that moving and then make sure I'm still attacking these guys too. All right, get that over there. I like how like it fills up and that can keep going for a while or focus on other things. And I can maybe ah, fill it up again a lot of enemies right now. Ooh. Working on one while I fight through the other because of the, the collater collateral shot thing. Gonna get that over there as much as possible. This is getting a little bit scary, a little bit crowded. Get rid of you first, maybe? I don't know if this is a good idea. All right, last checkpoint. Where is it? Right there. Boom. That was decent, I think. Oh no, feeling a little cluttered. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh man, getting launched. I'm up here and I'm back down. I don't know how I survived that on skate. That was a bit of a mystery. Okay, there we go, 14 F cleared. We got it. All right. I definitely wanna see how far we can push it in this run. Huh, something funky's up with the next floor. Whoa. Yeah, there's danger here. Whatever happens in a floor like that, you're not going to like. Whoa. Danger, you can see on the top right. No kidding? Well, we know what not to pick. The thing is, if you don't, Danger Force will show up more and more often until you go for one. Seriously? Maybe we ought to bite the bullet. Don't wanna be faced with three bad options later. Might as well. If it's too much, you can always spend some mem bucks to return to the elevator. All right, yeah, I think this might be a good time to do it. True, I don't know, eight. I'll leave it up to you. Let's try it out because it's something new. We have the danger normal level, which will also give us mobile special charge. Fills the special guard, special gauge by moving, just as it has before. This will get it from one point to two points since we already have this upgrade. This sounds pretty interesting. All right, let's keep it going. We got the, uh, the pearls coming for this level two. Escort the turbine tower. No drone. Yo, hey, I'm kind of stuck here. Good luck cleaning the floor without me. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Can't break you free. That's all right, we gotta do it all on our own. No gliding around. We don't get the extra attack bonuses. It could definitely prove to be difficult, but I'm with the task. What do we even have to do for this one? What's the mission again? Is it just to survive, defeat enemies? Oh no, it's this thing, okay. Got it. Already knocking on a couple of foes. I can fall down this way. I can push it around a little bit too. Got it and then maybe just bounce up this way. We might not wanna go too crazy with fighting enemies because we don't have Pearl's help here. So if I could just get this to maybe bounce up this way and push it through that checkpoint, that'd be great. Come on, uh, a little nervous. Come on, one more. Final checkpoint coming in. So we're doing all right, but wow, is that a lot of enemies or what? Okay, toss another one maybe, like that. Fill this up and then go, 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 go. Come on, get it over there for a bit while I'm fighting enemies. We can maybe position ourselves over. And then one more shot, I'll save it. Oh, I didn't, I didn't reach, oh well. It's fine, maybe this wasn't a good idea. Oh no, oh no. Come on, back it up, back it up. Got it, got it, got it. I want to get over here and keep pushing this thing. Whoa, oh man, last checkpoint coming in. Keep it filled up, we are almost there, and we make our way through the first danger level. Not bad. So this has been going super duper well. 
But there's still more to get done, huh? I think we're past the spire's halfway point. This place doesn't let up, does it? How you holding up, Bate? You should rest a little before we hit the next floor. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. If only order hadn't found a way into my mind. Yo, don't feel bad. None of this is your fault, Marina. I mean, somewhere deep down, I did wish for a perfect world of peace where nothing had to change. It was a weakness in me that order took advantage of. Lots of people are afraid of change. Even me sometimes. You two act? Personally, I've never been in my, it's never been in my top 10 fears. But I know that whatever you wish for, it wasn't this. You don't got nothing to apologize for. So dry those eyes. Aiden and me are gonna pump the brakes on order. Just sit back and enjoy the fireworks. But Pearl, Aiden. No, I can't just sit back. I'm going to do whatever I can to help fix this. Good. With all of us pitching in, we'll make this right. All right, let's get back to it then. We have one of these rigorous difficulty ones. I'm really curious to try it. This might cost us the run, but I'm willing to try it just to satisfy my curiosity. We get huge rewards, 570 mem bucks, splat ink recovery, which is refill ink by defeating enemies, if we get this done. I mean, we already have to try it here, so it might be a huge difference maker. We'll have to wait and see. So let's get it done. Ferocious invading droves fortress. Oh, okay, I almost dropped my controller. <laughs> Sorry about that. Protect the, the zone. Don't glide for an extra amount of money. Clear without gliding too much. Guess that means we can hang out. You can stop gliding with CL. Okay, so let's get to it. And then hop off and immediately just yep, do that. Fill up this zone and get this done. So with it being rigorously difficult, I might just wanna keep my distance wherever we can. Of course, it's going to cover up the zone sometimes, but I can get this disc right here. That'll make a big difference. They are getting really bouncy. Oh my, uh, that could have been bad for sure, but somehow I persevere. There's still one more on top of me. Hey, don't chew me. Don't do that. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Here, let's get over here. Blast you with one of those. Keep it going. They're no, a little too close for comfort. Toss that back down there. Not making too much progress with the zone itself right now. I need to clean some of this up and get our second disc piece there. Not bad. Whoa, watch it guys. Come on, come on, get those three cleared. Nobody coming in from that side just yet and we're about to reach the halfway point. Come on, it's our final checkpoint now. I see you up here trying to rain on my parade. Get back, ah, get back, ow. Okay, there goes my armor, this is not good. Ah. Come on, throw that down. Zone lost, oh, and I get chomped. That's not good. Do I have to start the whole thing over now that I'm on my last life or can we continue on that checkpoint? It looks like we can continue on that checkpoint. So this is our last chance to defeat this rigorous difficulty challenge. One more spot on our toes this time anyway, but we get as many ne next times as we want. All right, well that's good to know. I will definitely try to stay on top of this one. Don't let them win. Once they get too close, I can try to just sort of run away from them get a different angle on things a little bit, and then start blasting again, maybe. This might've been an awful idea. I'm stuck in my own ink. Okay, come on, there we go. Ah, wait, 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 back it up. Don't let them get me. That was close, there's one next to me. <laughs> Hold on, boom, got it. Okay, so far, not too bad. 10 ticks left, I lost control though. They're taking it back from me. Watch it, buddy. All right. Come on, come on. Oh no, oh no, the little guys too. Trying to get some action. They lost control. Time for me to take it back and turn this stuff up. Come on, come on, come on. 10 ticks left, I think we can do it. Come on. Nice. And uh, there we go, 16 F cleared. We made it through a rigorous difficulty challenge of ferocious invading forces or I guess Ferocious Invading Droves Fortress, that's what it said. <laughs> Not bad, we get both of those rewards, so that was over a thousand men bucks right there. I'm not gonna let up on the difficulty though. If we can keep getting more, let's try this one where we'll get Rush Knockback. Push enemies further with rushing attacks like Reef Slider, inking while moving, and with a roller brush, etc. We don't even actually get anything with this one then. Um, maybe I'll try this one the lucky bomb drop, or I could go for an easy one. 
I don't know. I feel like I want to earn up as many mum bucks as possible. This one's also a bonus. Yeah, let's try the bonus one. Gotta keep an eye on that for sure. So, here it comes, 17 up. So, sink the eight balls, don't move in octoling form. No running around this time, huh? Don't, uh, down with the tyranny of legs. Tentacles for life. I'll try it. So, I'm a little confused on how this that works, but I'll try it. Um, so I guess only when I'm like that will I get the bonus. Okay, uh, did that work? I think so. So just no running. So far, I think we're doing an okay job. I need to find the balls and blast them over, okay. Oh, and the more I run, the more it'll diminish my bonus. I see how that works. Interesting. So little adjustments even can be a bit problematic. We're down to 115 already, so I can just push that over. I don't know if that counted. I was midair when it ticked down. Not appreciating that one too much. I don't want to get too caught up in it and it, la you know, losing me around. Sweet, almost got them all. Okay, what happens if I do this? Oh, that counts as moving too? I'm not running, I'm gliding. I hardly think that counts. Oh no, oh no, 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 wait, 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 let's think about this. I'm trying, to <laughs> trying not to move. It's not going so well. Come on, let you guys off a little bit and try to get this to an actual spot. Cause that's not right now, that's not right here. All right, I only wanna get much in the way of this bonus. Boom, <laughs> what do you mean boom, that didn't hit anybody. Here, get that, launch you over there if possible. Yeah, I don't think this bonus is gonna help me too much. I'm still not dealing for him, so that's pretty good. And you, okay, not happening. Okay, right up there is all I, <laughs> can I get one bonus from that? No, I don't get anything. All right, it is what it is. We're going for a while on this one, for sure. I mean, I'd like to make it to the end, but I don't know if that'll happen. So, there's one more for us. Now we have a normal heart of rigorous. I'm gonna go for rigorous again. We got homing shots increased from 12% to 25%. Sounds like a huge upgrade. If we can make this happen, it would be so helpful. But that's the, the thing. Will we be able to make it happen? As we get to floor 18. On the run circles. All right, so escort the turbine tower. There it is again. But, oh, this one's so, so complicated. I'm getting over here, I'm giving it a push, and I really just wanna make as much headway as possible before these guys start showing up at me. There we go. And then I can start launching you every sort of direction I can manage. Got it. I see you over there, almost defeated. Awesome. And then this, hey, hey, you. Cut that out. No, no, no. Ow, that got me. Not good. I need to be careful about that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. That was scary. Oh, you got me. Darn. That was not good. <laughs> I think that's gonna end our run, but that's all right. That's why I wanted to do is tackle some of the difficult ones and sort of get that experience with it, because I know we'll have to eventually. So splatted by the battering Lento. But we do get a key out of that whole run. We earn some extra points here, a ton, actually. We're up to, how many in total? 12,783 points. Seems like quite the run to me. I'm certainly happy about it. And we get 120 pearls. Very cool. So I probably won't do any more runs today, but I'm sure we have a couple of rewards waiting for us over here. Oh, I hate to see it end there, but you'll do great on your next run. I just know it. Let's see about that. If we talk to you, hey, I have even more hacks ready to deploy now. Take a look. So I have a couple more I can apply. I'm gonna do some hacking. I mean, I'm guessing extra lives would be a really big one. If I look through a bit more, I'll get an extra life. Bit expensive, but getting the three lives seems like a big deal. There we go. And I wanna try some new stuff here too. Um, over here we have max armor. Increases the maximum pieces of additional armor you can have at once. Sure, got it. So now we can get two armor pieces at once. If we keep moving over here, I've not gotten this upgrade. This is broken armor speed. Increases movement speed when all armor is broken. That sounds like it could be a good evasive maneuver. So I definitely wanna take that one. And that's all the uh, pearls we can spend at the moment. So. That was pretty good. Over here though, we can open up a locker and inside we get 
Merch's palette. And with that one, we get this one uh, blaster. Try switching weapons and change palette. Maybe I'll try that next time around. Merch. Oh yeah, that little squirt. Little squirt. Pearl, he's been taller than you for a while now. I heard that Merch found a job out of town. I'd love to catch up with him for a chat. Oh yeah, we know Merch. Come to think of it, the glowing doors on these lockers seem to indicate which ones have pallets. I'm still getting lots of pallet signals in there, so keep switching up pallets and collecting keys. All right, well, I'll definitely have to work on that. It seems like five and seven are gonna have more pallets for us. So collecting all of those is gonna be a bit of an event. It looks like there's a lot of these, 36 in total. Cool, so if I take a look, we have this pallet here. We'll probably try that next time around. But our menu, we have our color chip collection. That's gonna give us some more pearls. We got a bunch of them right there. Then we also have some progress made here. Not enough to actually get me any more pearls, but we're certainly getting there. Um, and then nothing more from Marina's dev diary. So, oh, I can return to Splashville too by imagining it. That is so cool. So the farther we get here in the side order DLC, the more exciting things seem to happen. I can't wait to see what happens the next time we climb through. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Splatoon 3 Side Order. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.